This is Hamay, Miami, and we're back at the Sea Fair, the floating art exhibit. Uh, the boat is about 400 feet long, and uh, it's a great exhibit here tonight. And uh, we're with a pretty lady here tonight who has this gallery. So look at what we're standing in front of here. We're standing in front of these, uh, I love these uh, these paintings. Look at this. Yeah, this so are, are these oils, or what are these? Are these? Oil. Oh, this is oil, oil. on canvas. He's, wow. He paints only five um, uh, paintings uh, in the year. Yeah. Uh, he paints only legs. Oh. He, he makes all the expressions of the women in the legs. Oh. That, she, that she can uh, show all the emotions in the legs. So maybe we could audition the girls to show off their legs to uh, be part, I'm just kidding, but part of his, his exhibit, so I'm just kidding. <laughs> what about? I'm, I'm talking about who selects the, the legs. He selects the legs, the girls, and the legs to be in the paintings. Yes, yeah, she only paints legs. She selects this uh, part of the body to expression all of the emotions uh, of the women. She thinks that the legs are very important. They are. They, they are. The, the legs and the shoes. <laughs> We're looking at here over at my shoulder here at a stainless steel sculpture uh, on board the boat. Can you tell us how you make these? Yeah, the name of this piece is called Freedom. Uh, it's made of stainless steel. What we do is first we carve it in styrofoam and then we use the styrofoam to get the planes where we get the sheaths of stainless steel. We weld them and then we do high-end polish. So it has a mirror finish. And how long would it take you to make something like this? This one took six months. It's six, six months, months uh, to make. Wow. Forget it. It's very different. On a, on, a, on a cold Miami night here, it's a little chilly outside. That's why we're inside tonight. And I'm here with another artist in the gallery here, and her name is Maria. Maria, can you tell us about this painting in back of us here that looks like a banana? Well, when I paint uh, some shoes, I was uh, talking about me. The shoes is like me in different way of my life, different moment of my life, uh, with a sense of humor, of course. Uh, well, <laughs> that's all. The rest you can think by yourself. <laughs> okay. Let me ask you a question. Why, why are some of these, uh, what, are, what does this mean? Uh, exactly, that it, that it nothing to, no, no sense. No sense, okay. Everybody try to, to explain everything, and that is a, a sense of, of humor. Okay. <laughs> what, 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 is that, what does that say? Nothing. Nothing, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> exactly, okay. nothing. So, so, all right, so it, 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 in your mind, when you painted it, it's a, it's a banana peel shoe, is that what you're doing? It's uh, yes, like peeling it's a, a banana. Yes, uh, it's an artist. I, okay. I, take, I took uh, this model from an, uh, an artist book. Uh, so uh, it's a um, it's a designer. I took the, the this shoe from a designer, okay. and I made some some changes mm -hmm. for me. <laughs> I wonder if the, I wonder if you could actually wear one of these. What do you think? Could you wear one of these? Sorry. Could you really wear a banana shoe? Could you wear a banana? Shoe? Uh, perhaps yes. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yes, of course. Okay. standing in front of some of your works or can you tell us a little about, about what you do here? Yeah, well, this is called Love and it, uh, I want to, re I want to uh, represent uh, the basic, uh, one, one of the wonderful things about love is that uh, the simple act of holding hands, isn't that beautiful? You, 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 they start off as, as children holding hands and, they, and, and you end up holding hands later on in life. So you have love is the first one. Then you have finding love. Mm -hmm. Finding love, of course, is when it's that first contact between two people when they meet and fall in love. And that's why the fingers are barely touching. Is that exactly. It? And and one in the middle here that's getting all the attention uh, yeah. is the one that's balanced here. Can you tell us about that one? That's the force of nature. The force of nature. Uh, the force of nature was inspired uh, by not uh, such an, a, a nice event. It was inspired by the tsunami. Um, and. Um, to make us understand that we are not as powerful as we believe we are. Nature is, of course, all powerful.
much, but we're here uh, doing a little exhibition showing uh, some great work from some of our artists. We have uh, a lot of Cuban-inspired uh, artists from Cuba, and we have also, uh, from every other type of background, we have also Oskana, that does, she's a Russian artist as well. All the galleries here work together. Everybody's like a big family. Everybody helps everybody. It's a great, great energy, positive. And like I said, Diane, Leanne, Lester, and David are one of a kind.